coming at you from our new crib. Hello. We are doing today's video from our brand new empty house. And today's topic of vlog conversation is manifestation, is making your dreams come true, is transforming your life. I would probably say this is like my number one thing. We're so grateful for the amazing brands that we get to work with to do content that like really fits with what we do. So this vlog is paid for and sponsored by SunTrust and we just wanna give a huge thank you to them for partnering with us on this because we love creating content like this and they're such an amazing brand to work with and financial confidence and stuff really goes into um, making your goals a reality. So let's get started manifesting. You ready, baby? Mm -hmm. So as we sit here in this empty house, this is living proof of manifesting things into reality. We have been looking for this home for one year. And you know what is so funny? This was the first house that we walked into and looked at when we started looking. And this house dropped a significant amount um, one year later, it was a new build, and it, it, we looked at it before it was even done. Then we saw that it dropped on the market. We were like, what's going on? And... No, it pounced. Pounced like tigers. And we made it our own. So I think that that is just an example of like how the universe will make something happen. And why you can dream big. And you can put those dreams on your vision board or into your mind or into the universe that don't seem like they're possible because sometimes the universe and the Lord and whoever else it is that's conspiring can make something happen. Okay, so now that the holiday is over and um, I want to congratulate those of you who did the spending budget like I did and didn't overspend during the holidays. And if you didn't, there's always next year. And now we're gonna make some financial resolutions to help you not do that in the new year. I just love New Year's and like the time right before January where you're making those plans and those goals and those resolutions. That's like a holiday to me in itself. And um, last year I had a lot of huge things on my vision board that came true, like to the exact number. So we're gonna create our new vision board. So we've gone to the bookstore, we've got tons of magazines, all different magazines, and we'll go through these magazines, we'll cut things out, we'll write words on pieces of paper, we'll print things out, We'll write fake checks to ourselves of like goals that we have, just all this different stuff. The majority of the people who say that one of their resolutions is to save more, they do so for a long-term financial goal. So like I said, for us, it was the house. I am pulling off, I can't show you the address because safety first, the address to the actual house that we're in, is in my hand, was on my last year's vision board that we are standing in today. Most people are hopeful, just like I am. They say that 76% of people predict that they're gonna be better off financially, like last year, they predicted they would be better off financially in 2018. I predicted that for myself, so I was in that 76%. So I like that, that most people are hopeful about um, getting better at finances and money and actually being able to make some of these dreams a reality. So what do we have over here? Kyle is looking through his magazines. The funnest part, one of the most fun, or funnest, mm -hmm. is uh, getting magazines and going and cutting out your vision or just print stuff off the computer. So I'll get a few of my favorite magazines and kind of, I compartmentalize, is that how you say that? Mm -hmm. uh, Thanks, so I kind of break up my vision board into a few different areas in my life. Health, finance, spirituality, um, well-being, kind of things like that. And I'll put my goal, my vision, um, that's what I'll cut out and print off and then put a plan in place, or one small plan in place on how to get there. I have um, some pieces of my vision board on here. I'm just gonna show you a few pieces. I put this on my vision board. Literally, I got sent this exact stroller in this exact color. Can you believe that? I can. Unbelievable. I put this on my vision board because I, I, I knew Kyle would be a great dad. It is a girl, so that's one thing that wasn't exact, but anyways. Put an organized, beautiful closet because that's something that I wanted in my new home. Literally every single room in this house has a beautiful, huge, organized closet already. 
I put 200,000 on Instagram. When you're watching this video, I bet I'm gonna be at 200,000 because right now I'm filming it and I'm so close. I put a top 100 podcast in here. So we've already signed up with everything and we've got the ball rolling, but I did not launch my podcast in 2018. I'm launching it in 2019. I also put a beautiful white kitchen. Hello, white kitchen. I put 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I am almost to the dot. 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. I also printed off my bank statement and I crossed out the checking account and the savings account and I put exact numbers. I am within like $80 of that number that I said I wanted to finish 2018 in. It just shows you the power of a vision board. I, I feel like this is one of my strengths is just manifesting things like this. So it's pretty cool to look at last year's and kind of see where you end up. One third of Americans um, that make their resolutions that they're around finance and they say that whether they're financial or whether they're health whatever that they're forgotten by valentine's day and i believe that because i am a testament also to that especially the health ones they're really hard for me to keep oh my gosh. um like yeah. really hard yeah the everybody knows when you go to the gym after january 1st that place is Packed, packed with all the gym creatures you know you got the dudes you got the girls it's like where have y'all been where have you been year? so i'm not looking forward to that because i've been there all year <laughs> because i've ballooned up i <laughs> i got real big in 2018. <laughs> it's a huge percentage of people who their health goal is to to lose weight Kyle is in a smaller percentage, um, being one that says he wants, wants to run a marathon, which I think is awesome. In the financial category, 55% say they want to save more money, which I was in that. 25% say they want to pay down debt. And then 18% is a spend less money, which those are all three good financial goals. And well-being goals, I feel like, are all over the place. Like, I love reading all these different statistics about other people's goals online because they give me, like, ideas about goals that I can make for myself. <laughs> Whether your goal is like us, like saving for your child's education or like a private school and national education, if that's going to be for it, I mean, that's basically like the price of a college <laughs> or saving for retirement, which I started doing um, a couple years back or paying down debt, whether, you know, whatever it is, it is critical to have a plan to achieve these things. And two thirds of Americans say they have no such plan. It was part of our plan this year for Kyle to come over and help me full time. And that happened this year, but we did have to have a plan behind it. We had to have, we've gotta to be to this dollar amount. We've gotta have this much saved. This is our plan. That's why we were, we were able to make that happen. So I feel like the planning um, and putting everything on paper on a vision board, it's super, super critical. One of the things that I kind of look at that helps me, Mal likes to get down to specifics to where I'm a little more broad. So just having a plan, it means you're already being successful. It can be kind of loose. So like your financial plan, just having a loose plan, even just a very, very simple budget is like a roadmap for you to be successful. For you to be successful. Yeah, it like guides you towards your financial goals. And I feel like the new year is such a good time to yeah. like reset and get started. Yeah, and even just having something loose and that little bit of guidance something you can kind of check back in on yeah. is so important. And it doesn't have to be so specific or just so streamlined, but just having a basic sound plan, you can always kind of revert back to it to get you back on track. Mm -hmm. Because you're gonna fall off a little bit and that's okay, but you wanna be able to kind of veer, veer the car back on instead of it <laughs> falling off a cliff. <laughs> and the reason Mal and I are good at this is because- We fall off the cliff We fall off the cliff a lot, <laughs> so we get it. Um, but I think that's what helped us, just kind of having a roadmap to get there in the end and something that allows you a little bit of a glitter into. Bing, bang, bong, bing, bang, ba, bong. Bing, bang, bong, bing, ba, bing. last year so it says let your energy flow I had energy written on my board last year because I feel like I like so many other people I want to be high energy all the time like have energy when I wake up in the morning energy all throughout the day especially with the nature of our business and all that we're doing all the time another thing that I have that um, I really want in the new year 
It's a super organized closet. So this has been like a dream of mine forever. Whenever I had my own house, I was like, I'm gonna have a bomb closet. So come and look at this pantry. I said closet, I meant pantry. So this pantry is like ultimate pantry goals. Okay, I wanted to show you something else too. I printed off a blank one because I'm not gonna show the exact ones because everyone is different. On the site, they have this monthly budget. They had a holiday one that I talked about um, in the holiday video, but it has a savings um, section in there. So you can put all of your monthly expenses, but then you can also put like your goals. So you can do like a savings total, spending total, stuff like that, to really kind of keep you accountable so that you can make these goals a reality. Because if you overspend and you out of cash, if you get a savings goal, you ain't gonna be able to hit that goal. And I want to set you guys up for success so that you're able to hit your goals this year. I know this has a lot of spaces and if you're like me and you see this, you get anxiety, but you can use just certain parts. That's what I do with this. So break it up, just use a few parts, whatever you need. You can make it as detailed as you want or as simple as you want. But this is what we're talking about when we say a basic roadmap. This is perfect. I will continue to add to this as the year goes on. So you want to always leave space on your vision board. And then the things like this, so I wanted 200,000 on Instagram this year, I would love four. So I'm literally gonna change this number. We probably will either have another baby or be pregnant in the new year, especially if Kyle gets That's his way. About. So I'm leaving this on there. Um, even though like I have the bed and everything, I want this beautiful nursery all put together in this new house. I still like love the white bright kitchen and I want my kitchen like decorated and beautiful. I would love to visit the New England states like Martha's Vineyard or Cape Cod or something like that. Take some sort of really cool family vacation up there. So I'm gonna put this one on there. I have just trust, just be harvest. Like we've planted a lot of seeds I feel like this year in our life. And I'm just excited this year. I'm putting on my vision board to kind of watch them grow. I'm gonna write out the checks. I literally write fake checks of brand deals that I want to come through and like specific numbers. Um, the top 100 podcasts, when I launch my podcast in January, hopefully, I would love by the end of the year to have a podcast in the top 100 podcasts, which is a huge goal. But like I said, I'm gonna cut out some more stuff, but I'm gonna leave a lot of space because I really want space to add to my vision board. That's really important to keep dreaming throughout the year. A lot of these things I didn't add until like October, November, and they came true. Okay, and what do we have on this vision board? Okay, so I like to, mine's not as crazy as Mal's because I kind of like to add two things. So this is a picture, I don't know if anybody watches, um, What's, what's my favorite show? This Is Us. Mm -hmm. But I just love their family, little family dynamic. Uh, family is very important to me. So I always keep that on my vision board. My other one is Nepal. I'd love to go somewhere kind of cool and very spiritual. If I get heavily into my uh, meditation, that's Kathmandu. Mal's dad's been there a lot. That's where you go to climb Mount Everest or start your journey to climb Mount Everest. I've got a race line here for a marathon. I've gotten to where I can run about 5Ks or 10Ks every day, uh, which I'm very proud of. So I'm gonna work my way up to a marathon. And then kind of this picture right here, uh, to me, that kind of means just being mindful and, and being aware and just kind of enjoying the process and the journey and not always trying to hit the fast forward button until the end. And then I'll put kind of quotes on here just to kind of remember. And this one, I really liked. Basically what I took from it was when he says, we seem to think we ought to have an opinion on everything when in fact we don't. Um, so that's just kind of telling myself I don't have to have an opinion about everything. I think I've gotten a lot better at that, whether it's something good or something bad, just to kind of not overanalyze it or go and chase after it and uh, just kind of sit with it and um, let it be. So that's it's kind of cool, I guess, for me, or I think it's cool I can kind of feel myself putting that into practice in everyday life. It's not really forced anymore. So um, that's my board. I will continue to add things to it. Mine's a lot neater and a lot better than Mallory's. Oh my gosh, I'm so not done with my board. So. Always a contest. <laughs> Thank y'all for watching this vlog. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate everybody watching our content and our family as we grow. 
awesome. Bing bang ba bong, bing bang bong.